I find Bo-Katan as a character very interesting. When we first meet her, she's like a, she's like a terrorist, but she's not like a, a leader or anything. She's just, you know, part of the, the group. And they do very terrible, terrible things, and she's been with them for some time now i'm pretty sure when we first pick up but then she has a change of mind and kind of turns against the the way that she used to go about things and seemed like she was really like you know turning a new leaf maybe even mending a relationship between her and her sister satine psych this is how you eat a big man now i don't know if she'll show up in the obi-wan show or if they'll do any kind of backstory such as what happens in the siege of mandalore if anything that wouldn't happen in the kenobi show because that takes place nine years after Revenge of the Sith. And the Siege of Mandalore kind of happens towards Return of the Jedi. If we ever see any kind of cinematic depiction of the Siege of Mandalore, it would probably include Bo-Katan, Satine, and Ezra. So we probably won't hear anything about it until season three of the Mando, or at least the Ahsoka show that's coming out. And we already got a confirmation for Ezra to show up in Ahsoka. Ezra will be played by Mena Mossad. You might know him from Aladdin. What I suspect is that all these characters are gonna come together in the Ahsoka show, and that we're gonna get some kind of payoffs to the things that were built up in the Clone Wars and in Rebels, such as the Siege of Mandalore and Ezra and Thrawn coming back. I don't know how big of a threat Thrawn is gonna be when he comes back, but I can only suspect it's gonna be something big. <laughs> I hope we get some flashbacks of the Siege of Mandalore, and if we don't, I just feel like that's kind of a missed opportunity, and I don't want to wait like 10 years for someone to finally make it, or I just end up making it myself, because I really just want to know what went down. With Bo-Katan, coming from a terrorist past, uh, knowing that her sister died, not really being there when her sister died, and how that would affect her, and then deciding that she needs to rule Mandalore for some reason. Like, I want to know that motivation. I, I don't like to say for some reason, because, like, honestly, for me personally, I don't understand why Bo-Katan all of a sudden wants to rule Mandalore. Other than maybe she feels like she owes it to her sister. But I want to see that affect her, and then I want to see the Siege of Mandalore, and all the Mandalorians kind of, you know, a lot of them die, and that affects her a lot. Kind of a weird video, I didn't really know what to upload, so I was like, I just want to talk about this. I really hope they do that, I want to know her motivations, I already find her interesting as a character. I just think it would be the chef's kiss if I was able to get to know what her motivations are and why she's doing what she's doing. I doubt anyone will see this, but if you're new to the channel and you want to interact, just let me know what you think and what you suspect will happen or what your expectations are for the future of Bo-Katan as a character. But also remember that expectations aren't always reality, you know, that it doesn't always happen. So don't put your expectations up and then expect something to happen. And when it doesn't happen, it's inherently bad. That's not how things work. I'm just here to have fun, theorize. And if it doesn't happen, then it doesn't happen. I'm just here for the ride.